Hey, this is Avery at Cybercut. We're gonna do a 10 minute table run. I'm gonna tell you how to get started. We're gonna go ahead and get started with our cutting. You're gonna first cut one piece of an 18 width. And then the other you're gonna cut, your theme fabric, is gonna be 12 inches. So you're just gonna trim this up and square it up. 12 inches, and this is gonna be your center piece. Your leftovers, you're gonna be able to cut and make some napkins, matching napkins. You can do an 18 by 18 of your fashion fabric and then your theme fabric. So then you're just going to match up and cut an 18 by 18. And we'll have matching napkins to go with our table runner. Today we're using our Sunshine Harvest by Northcott. And we have a special deal for you if you catch this today. You take your 18 inch fabric and your 12 inch fabric and you're going to pin this together, right sides together. And I'm just gonna wonder clip this because that's my favorite tool to do. It's gonna wonder clip a couple places. So you're gonna wonder clip here and you're gonna go right to the salvage edge and wonder clip here. And then the opposite side, you're gonna do this as well. So you're gonna wonder clip it. Wonder clip. I'm gonna use about three of them, okay? And then bring it down to here. And then you're gonna just simply take the salvage edge, sew a quarter inch seam allowance. Get my feet dogged up. And you remove your one clips as you're stitching, but you're just gonna match your side, your, your, your raw edges together and sew a straight line all the way down to the other edge of your fabric. You're gonna sew right on down. You're gonna do both, both ends, both sides. Now you could do this with the serger if you wanted to. It's your choice, but this right here is just, you know, if you have a, just a standard sewing machine, you're just gonna straight stitch it down. But you could also very easily go to your overlock machine and just stitch this and trim the raw edges at the same time. There's no need to back stitch. Cut your thread, turn this around, and you're gonna start at this end of your fabric. And notice when I get down to um, finishing this, this sewing, with the 12 inch and the 18 inch, you're gonna have an automatic border on the sides. It's pretty cool. Get this started. Just matching your raw edges together. I guess so. And we're using the Sunshine Harvest fabric, which is really cool. Cut 
your thread. And then you're gonna turn your fabric inside out. So when you turn it inside out, here's your backside, right? Here's your front. And what you're going to do, as you can see, it automatically wants to give you that little border. So we're gonna take this to our ironing board and we're gonna press this down and let you see how pretty it looks. So you're going to trim your salvage at this time. So then you you trim your salvage pieces. So now you're going to take the border, stitch it down a quarter inch. I'm going to back stitch. Okay. I did my little cutter thing. And then you're gonna do the opposite end. Put this up. And then what you do is you take your piece of fabric and open it up and look, voila. You're just gonna take your fabric, as you can see, just take that little point, make it a point, right? And then you can pin all this down or you can simply just top stitch this down. Now I'm just gonna to top stitch it about a quarter inch or an eighth of an inch off the edge of that fabric there. So I'm just top stitching this, this, this piece down. You can press this as well if you want. Lock your stitch in place, and there you go. Now, this is what you do on the opposite end. You just do the same exact thing. Turn your piece back, the little corner in. Pull that through. Make that little point. And then you can press and top stitch this right back down again, the same as the other end. And you are almost finished. You can decorate this. You can put a big button here if you like. Top stitch it all the way down. Lock your stitch in place. And there's your 10 minute table runner. Isn't that cool? Mm -hmm. Now let's do some matching napkins. You ready? So we're gonna do napkin, uh, matching napkins for our 10 minute table runner. I have just standard serger thread in my looper, a decorative thread in my upper looper, and one needle thread. I'm gonna use a right needle with two loopers. That's gonna give me the rolled edging that I wanna do on my napkin edge. What you do is you have your 18 by 18 pre-cut napkin. You're just gonna simply cut just a slither of fabric off so that you have a neat edge. And you cut your slither, do a little slither. So my decorative thread is on my top. And what I do is when I'm doing four napkins, 
12 napkins, whatever, you know, whatever I'm doing, but I just chain stitch each side. So I'm gonna take my fabric, my next piece of napkins, stitch a sliver off, cut a sliver off, keep on stitching. And I have a machine set up as a rolled edge, a rolled hem. I'm gonna do one more and then I'll show you the edging. But I just chain stitch. See this beautiful napkin? So this is, look how pretty that edge is. Isn't that gorgeous? So it just rolls that fabric right over to the edge. You get this perfect stitch. Now this is a 12 weight thread, so it's thicker than your standard sewing thread, okay? But you just clip this thread here. When you're gonna do a corner, you're simply going to, I prefer just stitching right off the fabric, right onto the fabric. I'm just gonna make sure my slither is cut, right? Stitch. And I'm just doing it with just a clean edge. And I'm gonna show you the edge in just a second. So right off of this corner. And I'm going to take my next corner. I just want to show, show, show you a, a full napkin, okay? Stitch. We're going to grip this right, grab this right here. Just slowly get that corner started. And what you're gonna do on your corners, because these are what they call dead end seams. So you can now take a little fray block and dab a little fray block. It's a, it's a, a sealant, thread sealant. So you're just gonna dab it there, dab it on all your corners, and you let, let it dry. Once it dries, you're going to have a, per now see how I did, a, I did a little goofy right there? I did a little goofy, I'm gonna fix it real quick. It's an easy fix. You just cut a little slither off. And just grip that chain. you're gonna just do a little slither of, uh, uh, you trim away the little slither and you put a little dab of uh, fray block there. And that is your finished napkin edge. And you will have four matching napkins to go with your table runner. Mm -hmm. All right. Fray block. Dab. Dab. And you're gonna let this dry and it will not harden or either stain your fabric. It'll just be quick little six. And then we'll come back with a finished napkin.